Hey everyone, I'm Jake, the DM for Venture Ventures, Descent into Avernus, Baldur's Gate Descent into Avernus. This is episode 31, and we're going to get started here in a second, but let me recap the TPK that happened last episode. We're going to have all new characters for you. Uh, I'm not going to, you know, do a blow by blow, but basically what happened was the group needed to cross the river Styx, and instead of paying a fairy man uh, some soul coins, they <laughs> they decided to try and trick the <laughs> the guards at the Stygian docks, heavily Ocean's eleven style, heavy, heavily guarded Stygian docks, obviously heavily guarded. They tried to trick them into allowing them to cross that way and um yeah i i went back and rewatched that episode just to make sure because <laughs> i was starting i was starting very to You're very... i was starting to question like i thought i telegraphed what might happen and i more than telegraphed like oh yeah <laughs> like big flashing light <laughs> something like along the lines light. of if you guys do this and it goes wrong you will probably die no he he said i will tpk you oh yeah were his yeah, exact yeah, yeah. words i remember <laughs> them and right. i remember being like okay let's not do this there yeah, were the other person. red flags yeah. there were subtle hints right and left yeah uh, were in-game role-playing hints that we didn't pick up on or react to <laughs> appropriately. Oh yeah, I, I, I reacted. We're very fair. I reacted <laughs> I appropriately. Raw's credit, he did. <laughs> True. I tried so hard. Raw's both tried to to disagree, but uh, being the good kitty he was or is, who knows, uh, he went along with the group and. Um, yeah, it was a lot of uh, a lot of rolling and uh, a lot of a lot of roller coast was the only one to, to survive. Kind of, he was captured. So was Lulu, the Holophant. and now here we are with the new group, and we're gonna open with you guys coming to consciousness, semi-consciousness, in a massive sixty or seventy by ninety. Uh, foot room um, with four massive anvils placed randomly throughout the room. Um, it's 135 degrees in this in this forge area, and there's lava on the on the outskirts of this room, flowing around uh, various areas, and above you, floating on a throne is a pit fiend uh, who addresses you thusly welcome to my home or part of my home I want to give you an option here I can resurrect you or I can send you back to infernal damnation possibly torture i don't know i don't do that stuff anymore but the people that do that for me uh i just need you to sign this contract uh it, it's a fair contract if you do as i say for an indetermined amount of time if you please me you can get your freedom and your life and four contracts appear in front of you and uh, they're very long and how many of you speak infernal Lucius does okay uh, Bell sees uh, confusion and he goes oh my apologies and snaps his fingers and it the text magically turns into text that you can read and Bell says I need some favors done I need some people to 
be my associates. And as he's saying that, you realize his last sentence, he, he's, he's still talking out loud, but that's not the sentence that's coming out of his mouth. The sentence I just repeated is being heard inside your head while he's still talking out loud. Uh, the telepathic communication that's going on is much louder than the outward communication. And you notice that there are four fire giants working on the anvils now. And uh, he, he continues. So what do you say? Sign these contracts? So you say we, you need some favors done, and as long as we you know, obey you and all, can we live our own lives, or do you control us Oh, every no, day? you'll be working for me. Mm. Uh, yeah. And but eventual freedom. Possibly. Who are you? Oh, I am the person, the, for all intents and purposes, the, the being that resurrected you. Fair what does enough. it look like? A pit fiend. I have the picture in the Discord, I believe. Oh. Well, when he changed the contract into a language I understand, Loxodon. Yeah. Which yeah. I've decided is a very long-winded language. Uh, the contract really? itself, yeah. like, burst into many sheets of paper. And I haven't seen a Loxodon contract in a long time. And I, where are my things? And I pull out, uh, like, some some reading glasses out of my bag and set them on a huge elephant head, <laughs> tiny beady black eyes, and I start reading the contract. <laughs> is there anything <laughs> hidden that I pick up in the contract? Um, make an investigation check. I also read it in its original form in Infernal as well, and look mm -hmm. for anything that might stand out as, this is probably a bad idea. Oh. I sign it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I <laughs> a, a bad idea, there's plenty of things that are, like, if this were <laughs> any other situation, it would be clear i rolled that, a nat one it doesn't matter i mean you're it's so obvious because oh, okay it's bell is like you guys were dead being tortured i guess uh, i was looking hell. for her like are there any ways out of it or is it pretty like ironclad oh no this is a pit fiend former archduke of avernus uh you would need some really good help to figure that out. Me one cool. hell of a lawyer. And they exist in hell, of course. Well, I guess anything's better than death. Do, and do I we sign already it. know each other? No. No. He's he's brought you guys uh, I'm going to have you peeps. each describe your appearance. Uh, Brian kind of already has uh, in a second here, but um, yeah, he's brought you guys just resurrected and he's trying to get you to sign these contracts and uh he's waiting for all of you to sign before he continues i say torm gave me a mission and i'm not finished with it yet i don't know that i like this well i'll sign and i sign and then i go sign the contract let's celebrate <laughs> and release a very loud you drum. see one of the fire giants just kind of tweak their ear a little bit, their head and pain. Uh, so I got one si Good. signature, one from... Uh, uh, can we recap? Did, did Lulu died, right? You don't know. <laughs> oh, okay, she got away? She was captured. We, we didn't see her die. <laughs> got it. Uh, Horton, you said yes. Each every When you sign it, the, the uh, contract uh, evaporates into thin air. We got another from... And you see Lucius, and Lucius is a red tiefling uh, with a, a black cape, and his eyes are like white orbs, and they kind of look crystallized. Um, and he's got wings, uh, uh, bat-like wings as well. And he says, well, I guess nothing beats death. Everything beats death, so... And I sign it. And when when you do, Bell says, I'm surprised you had a problem with that, considering where those bat wings came from. But anyways, that's a thing for another day. 
How about you, young half orc? So the choice is go back to eternal damnation or sign this contract mm -hmm. where I'll be working with these guys. Yes. I'm thinking. For the time being. Thinking. Okay. Well, it's good to know I had a choice when I signed it. There's always a choice in hell. Sign evaporates and he says, wonderful, telepathically and out loud, and says, before I can have you uh, go about on your way and we discuss anything that I may need done, I would like you to prove your metal and basically see how all of you gel together. And he snaps his finger and these massive infernal irons that bound to these fire giants working on these anvils. And there's huge buckets of uh, steaming liquid next to the anvils and, and uh, pieces of metal and other blacksmithing type uh, items. And chains around these fire giants evaporate as well. And he says out loud to the fire giants, for each one of these that you kill you shall have your freedom and then telepathically to you guys he says um, see what you can do with these fire giants please and then his throne raises into the air hovers into the air higher and we're going to roll initiative as these fire giants start picking up weapons and stuff Woo! Damn. That's TPK. about right. <laughs> I don't know. I what do they call a TPK right after you were TPK'd? A TPK. I, and a really <laughs> shitty luck. <laughs> what do you call Brian dying right after Brian dies? <laughs> Just D &D. one day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sir Jazzy, what did you get on your core? And is there anything else you'd like to describe about Sir Jazzy and his look? Surely I would. So, as I mentioned, he is a big, bulky loxodon, which is like an elephant person. Uh, he tromps around in heavy armor. He's wearing a long chain shirt currently. He does have a matching set of beautiful silver gauntlets and boots. Uh, they are very draconic in nature. Um, despite him obviously being a cleric of Torm, of the Order Domain, um, <clears throat> Torm, of course, is uh, his symbol is a shiny silver gauntlet. So clearly, these gauntlets came to him from Torm. Nothing will ever convince him otherwise, even the dragon scales on them. Um, he has a hilariously small hand axe that hangs from his waist. Um, that is much, much smaller than he is. Uh, and his, but other than that, like his tusks are clean he's well kept he carries a bag slung across his back um and his trunk has some battle scars on it but uh really the most unsettling thing is the tiny tiny beady black eyes on a huge elephant head that bears down on on other beings receiving torm's judgment that's cool. what he looks like uh horton windbreaker uh what did you roll for initiative 11 Please describe your cleric and your Real specialty. Real quick, what color is adamantine? I don't Silver. actually know. Silver, okay. I think. So, right. I, yeah, I've always envisioned it green for some reason. I know that's wrong. I've always pictured like a like a shiny dark gray, like black stainless steel. That's okay. interesting. That's super interesting <laughs> that people yeah. have different. I don't know why. Maybe it's maybe I'm I always thought conflating that was darker. And mithril. mithril yeah. yeah i think i'm yeah <laughs> anywho not that it's real stuff so we can't yeah anymore, <laughs> right but... <laughs> um so i am a dwarf i stand about four four i'm in full adamantine plate with a impressive looking shield that has thor's hammer on it um i've got full bright red beard and long hair that kind of sticks out under my uh, 
my helm for my full plate. And uh, that's really all you can see of me. I carry a mace also. And I've got like my explorer's pack on and I'm just ready, just a little angry man in full plate ready to go. And you mentioned you're a Tempest cleric, right? And uh, yes, I am a Tempest cleric. Cool. Uh, Shab, Shabby. What kind of barbarian are you this time? Same, right? Same. I'm the same exact type of. I'm a totem, uh, totem warrior, be a uh, bear, um, and uh, yeah, pretty much just. just yeah, I tried to build. I tried to build a better Jerry, basically. No, no, yeah, he's he's uh, you know, he's a half orc, so he's got kind of that that gray skin, mm -hmm. um, big jaw, and got kind of long unkempt hair he's wearing shabby clothes um what else yeah he's just kind of dressed very modestly and looking at your he's, uh... he's a little he's a he's not as like buff as jerry was he's a little bit smaller and he's still got a real solid half work build but he's just not quite the athlete that that uh, jerry was cool uh looking at your ability scores i appreciate it uh unless you've changed it your eights across the board on your final three yeah <laughs> uh scores not smart not wise not charismatic yeah uh i look forward to uh trying to charm <laughs> so, yeah. so someone on discord but jerry was easy me. to charm too it doesn't really matter um somebody in discord just sent me a what color is adamantine like link yeah, and it says it's a jet black alloy of metal. Usually, uh, it has a green sheen when viewed by candlelight, or a purple white sheen when viewed by magical light. What is that coming from? What source, though? <laughs> I, I don't. It's forgotten It's not realms. real. It's a ForgottenRealms.fandom.com. <laughs> real. Oh well, know. if it's Forgotten Realms, then uh, technically <laughs> it is that color in this. Yeah. But yeah, I was thinking like. This is just a general Wikipedia article it, on, a, no, on something it says that doesn't like, exist. It says like where it's found, all kinds of stuff. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> cool. So it all is right. black and or blackish and black green. Black and green. <laughs> uh, Shabby, what was your initiative on twenty-two? Your first roll twenty-two. Lucius, nice. what's your initiative? <laughs> Seven. Yeah. I promise you, I rolled. Much, much good to be better. playing so, with another barb I'm, though i'm right where i want to be this is great lucius uh please describe or you're already dead basically right your bat wings lucius oh sorry i was looking at my spells and they were all gone and i started to panic um because <laughs> they were an hour that never hour happens ago. to a sorcerer that never uh, hap literally never happens <laughs> oh well, it's, who's the other barb there's no other barb I because oh, I someone someone was creating a barb like a week ago. I was doing that for you oh. when you were having issues, and then I deleted it. Got it. Yeah, I saw a dragonborn barb, and I was like, "Ooh, that'll be cool." <laughs> uh, Gary, was there anything else we need to uh, know about Lucius's look? Uh, yeah, basically, uh, Lucius is uh, he's a wild he's... magic sorcerer. Yeah, he's a walled magic sorcerer, uh, variant tiefling, red, red skin, uh, uh, white, uh, silvery eyes that are kind of like crystallized over, don't look natural. Um, he's got a, in combat, you'll see he has a purple orb that he uses for his spell casting, um, uh, long dark black hair, um, and the bat like bat like wings. Got it. Cool. And at the top of the round of this initiative, as you see these massive fire giants bearing down, uh, they're kind of thin, uh, maybe wiry, live. Yeah, uh, you know, being a permanent worker for Bell is not uh, good for the weight. But Shabby, you are first. Shabby Four just fires at his other three companions. He just goes, uh, "If you'll excuse me," and then he, he gets his he gets his great axe. He just starts. How far away are they? Uh, you got one within twenty feet of you. Okay, I run up to that one, swing the great axe. Gonna, that's a magic great axe. Yeah, right? I'm gonna rage and do great weapon master recklessly. 
Oh, nat 20. Sweet. Nice. That's starting off really well. Okay. Yes, Sorry. This, this turn's going to take forever because it's a new character and trying to figure out all this. So I the just... Same character. Yeah. Right? Say I no, no, no. <laughs> but, but, I don't know. But we, but we leveled up to nine and I have a new thing that has to do with crit stuff. <laughs> literally just playing a better version of Jerry. S sorry, I got a whole new character. It's gonna take no, I, some time. I guess what I meant to say is I, I it's, it's, I've never had a character as high as nine. So uh, okay. So let's see here. What's this? What's the uh, class ability you're you're referring to? Um, it's called brutal critical. So when I roll mm -hmm. a weapon, a weapon it's not die, an extra die. It's an extra weapon damage, so oh, okay. I just have to figure out the exacts. Uh, so I'll do that later, but uh, let's see. So I'm using my great axe. Uh, so yeah, I rolled a 29. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Cool. So for this, because like his, his ability scores are like slightly different than Jerry, so I can't, I can't just. Yeah. Uh, Fire Durants are wearing infernal plate armor, but. Uh... It's not very well made stuff. Okay, so that's a that's a fifteen. So the weapon damage is doubled, right? So do I do I roll the additional weapon die and then double that? No, I don't think so. No. Okay. So it'd be thirty. Plus rolling the twelve again. Wow, nice. So thirty nine. Sweet. Yeah, I think. I and that was it. just the first attack, right? Yeah, it's the first attack. Twelve class. So second is a twenty seven. To hit, yes. And I think that one's just. Sorry, I think I did the first one wrong. I forget how. Let's see. So if I, oh, if I, in your turn, when you score a critical hit with a melee weapon, or reduce, da, 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 da. great weapon master. I think it's I minus I think five I, on your. Yeah, yeah, but do I? But I add ten, right? So it was actually to the damage. A, yeah, so I think it was a. What did I say for the first one? Thirty nine. Thirty nine. So yeah, an so extra ten. Forty nine, and then this one's gonna be. Uh. This one's just going to be 16 for this one. Okay. So and then, you, yeah. That's, Jerry, uh, eat your heart out. Yeah, well, it was a good, really good uh, first good attack to, to get a crit. Good way to start it off. First sure. attack of this party was a crit by yeah, a barbarian. Good. That is awesome. Good job, Dave. Good that's job. a super good <laughs> sign. Super good sign, even though you're last one hell. ever. And you you just signed an infernal contract with a arch former arch devil. We'll take difficult. points where we can get them. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. uh, is that it, Shabby? Yeah, that's it. Horton, why does yours still you leveled to level nine, right? It's just my my issue on my side, right? Yeah, I love. Okay, that. cool. Um, how far away, like? How many can I get within 30 feet? Uh, they're spread out pretty evenly around the room right now, so. So I couldn't clump them up too good? Um, I don't, unless you have a way to do that. No, no, no. Um, how big is the room we're in? Did I make it's a like 60? like 70 by 90. So I can make a call lightning 60 foot radius cloud? Yes. Beautiful. Um. Can I get it over? There's three of them. Yeah, you can get it over like. Can two I get over two? Okay. Yeah, that'll do. Let me. Uh, I'm gonna do. do a fourth level call lightning above two. Nice. And you can direct who it hits, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, let me just because poor shabby. Yeah, it only hits in a five foot square. Cool. When it strikes down. Uh, Deck saves or something. Yeah. Just... I will share. I did not take sleep. <laughs> <laughs> That's. It was a source of a lot of joy for me. <laughs> yeah. Deck save against 16. 
and I am before you do the rolls, I'm going to be max damaging this thing with my with my tempest Your, spider ability. The uh, is that a um, it's a channel channel divinity, divinity yeah. I believe. Cool. How many do you have of those now? Like three or four? Uh, only two. What? Uh, okay. Um, yeah. Am I right, eight. Brian? Do you have two? Yep. Okay. okay, the one that Jerry's been then been uh, wailing on failed, and the other one succeeded. Uh, it's it's only one of them. I only get one hit. Oh, I thought you were trying to get. Okay. No, no, it's just I just want to be able to each round I can keep it going off. So I want to be able to if I okay. if one goes down. I'll reroll that, and he uh, succeeded. Okay, so max damage would have been four d10, so twenty damage he'll take. So it would have been forty. And you're doing just to clarify, you're doing the one Jerry's wailing on, right? Yeah. Okay, hit me with the damage again. Twenty. He'll take. Yeah. That's happened already. Okay. And Anything then else? I will. I've only got twenty-five feet of movement so i will also get up on the one that jerry's on okay just whale this guy down okay what are you gonna do without roller coasters movement it's gonna be rough i've played with 25 feet for a long time so I'm all right but i was just living the dream with 100 240 <laughs> moves <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> I'm going to choose to be faster than a fucking infernal machine for a round. That's what I, I was like, what? Uh, okay. But that was like still impossible to get away from those guys again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Fire Giant's turn, the one that Jerry's been wailing on and Horton we, threw a... Shabby. Fuck. Sure. That's going to happen I just got all the time. Some... Yeah, yeah. All the time. Uh, all right. Uh, very damaged, the one in front of you, Shabby and Horton. Uh, it's going to throw down on you, Shabby. I'm just going to say <laughs> your name as much as possible to get it in my head. Uh, all right. Gonna get it. He's going to pull out a great sword, huge great sword, and he's going to wail on you with two attacks. A nat one and a 26. Right. Twenty seven slashing damage from the fire giant in front of you, Shabby. Got it. And that will be his turn. Lucius. Lucius. Oh, I'm Lucius. Hey, that's me. <laughs> Not you <laughs> said name yet. All right, am I within 30 feet of both uh, Horton and Shabby? Yes. Perfect. I'm going to twin spell haste on mm -hmm. both of them and I'm going to then fly into the air um when you can my... concentrate on both of them uh, I would have I thought that's the way twin spell worked cool um it doesn't say Let's otherwise as long as the spell has been cast oh wait as long as the spell of the level it's being cast is incapable of targeting more than one creature to a second creature yeah to a second creature with the same spell okay. yeah okay cool yeah so i do that and i fly into the air with my flying i have a flying speed of 30 feet so mm -hmm. i'll go 30 feet into the air after i do that okay uh hasted keep that in mind horton and chevy now i'm fast again it's easy. <laughs> Sir Jazzy. Sir Jazzy brings his gauntlets together and a radiant ball of light 
forms between them. He picks it up with his trunk and then blasts it. Um, and that's going to be a bless as Torm's radiant light falls, settles on all four of us. It's casting it at second level. Um, I'm using the embodiment of law feature that I have to cast that as a bonus action instead of an cool. action. Yep, yep. I'm also triggering uh, my voice of authority feature. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to pick Shabby. Shabby, if you'd like, you can use a reaction right now to hit that giant in front of you. <laughs> I cast an enchantment spell that targeted you. Does Shabby want to do that? Yeah, I I was okay. already rolling my my rolls. Nice. So I got a, a twenty three for yeah that hits. But whatever the next one was going to be, uh, so I'll roll the damage for that. Uh, please excuse my math. Uh, twenty three damage. Sweet, awesome. Um, keep in mind. Bless, what that does for all of us, any attack roll or saving throw you make while it's on you, you get to add a d4 to it. So that 23 would have been a 23 plus d4. Um, uh, okay. Still would have hit. How long does that <laughs> last for? As long as I'm concentrating, probably for the a minute, 10 minutes, something like that. Long enough for this fight. Um, and then I'm going to jump in the air like a leprechaun and click my heels together. And draconic wings flare out from my boots. And I fly up 30 feet in the air right up next to you there, buddy Lucius. Um, and I'm going to use my action to... Toll the dead on the hurt one. Okay. Which is a wisdom save? Yep, wisdom save versus 16 natural one again 12 points of necrotic damage this guy's getting fucked up and that's my turn cool next fire giant's turn is going to pick up a large giant sized bucket next to his anvil and he's going to throw it at the bat-winged fellow. Uh, 26 to hit. Ow. <laughs> Can't even shield that. I feel like we're playing half bludgeoning damage. Yikes. I feel like we're playing Half-Life right now, throwing buckets at people. Yeah. And I will make my concentration save. Uh, 23. Cool. So that passes. I maintain concentration. And the next fire giant is going to run up right behind the one who just threw one. And is going to pick up some slag in a ball in his massive giant hand and he's going to throw it at the flying elephant how very dare he <laughs> Woo. 20 hit it does Twenty-nine bludgeoning damage from the slag hitting you. Ouch, my gouch. Uh. And not that, not that. For the three fire giants, I rolled all ones for their initiative. So um, they're A lot going of ones for you tonight. <laughs> yep, they're going last. Uh, and then the last fire giant. It's going to move forward as well, picking up a bucket before he does so. And gonna go right behind the guy who's gotten his ass beat and throw a, another bucket 
And let's roll for it. Not me, not me, not me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Bad <Wow. you. laughs> Does a 15 hit? It does. I haven't done mage armor yet. Oh, wait, shield. Ha! There you go. I was thinking yeah. to myself, why don't you no, shield? No, shield. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Uh, that's his turn. We're back to the top with Shabby the Bastard. All right, because I have a haste, I have three three moves. Well, two attacks plus another action, right? Yeah, you're multi... Uh, yeah. Yeah, so I just... I'm wailing away on the hurt one with my with my great axe. I don't think the second two are going to hit, but the first one is a 19. Just yep, bless. You can add a d4 to all of those. There you rolls. go. Make oh, sure you add your d4. For, the, for the actual... For the uh, attack. attack roll, yeah. Attack roll. Okay, so yeah. So 23 and then a... Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's 20 damage. Jeez. Uh, okay, well then the second one does not hit because that'd be an 18 to hit, which doesn't hit, right? That just hits. Oh, it does hit. Okay. Oh, bless. So that is... Oh, bless. So that's really going to work out nicely. Uh... <laughs> that's going to work out. <laughs> <laughs> Statement of the night. That's 20, gonna work uh, 26 out nicely. damage. Okay. How do you destroy this fire giant oh, in front of sweet. you? Sweet. All right. So now I get another, I get another action because uh, if I kill something with Great weapon master. Um, this is a pretty big. Uh, how how tall are these things? Like twenty feet, or they're they're yeah, large. Sure. Yeah. Yep. Just go in the balls up up with the up with the axe. Just split them in half. Insult to injury. That's yeah. rough. All right, and there's one behind him. Uh, you're gonna have to use some of your movement to get there. <laughs> like ten feet. I use that much. When you kill something, don't you get an extra attack too? That's what I. That's what I was saying. I get a, I get an yeah, extra yeah. attack. So, so attack. is that is that using the haste action that I already was gonna do anyway, or not yet? So oh, okay, so I have two attacks. You kill two more. So you get a third attack, and then you get your haste action. Mm -hmm. All right. So this one is a nineteen to hit. Yes. Ah, bad damage. Uh, bad damage. Nineteen. Yes. And... Ooh, that's not gonna do it. So that's only like I only rolled like an eleven, even with advantage. So not gonna, gonna swing and a miss on that. He's tired. All this swinging. Sure. Just... <sighs> he just kind of. That misses. was your hasted action too. You haven't done that yet, or did you? So is a is a hasted action like if I'm if I'm using my regular you know, a uh, barb action where I'm actually attacking twice. Yeah. You get okay. to use your multi-attack, right? Okay. Yeah, so your that'd be two more. extra attack. Because your extra attack uses your action. Yeah. Okay, so that's... Unless there's some yeah, rule so that, that says rolled, you can't use it. Yeah. I rolled a I nine. The haste it's like a 27 to hit. 27 to hit. And... Dave's rolling like crazy tonight. Seriously. Uh... 23 damage. Yes, Brian. Yes, the haste spell specifies that the haste action can only be used to take the attack, parentheses, one weapon attack only. Ooh, Dash, bummer. disengage, hide, or use an object. Yeah, that's what I figured, because I, I don't remember doing that last last time I yeah. was using Reckless. That's, that's where the qualifier is. used to haste me a decent amount, so I was doing that. Mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah, Gary, roll a roll a d20. <laughs> Thank you. Four. You're gonna you're gonna have to remind me. Uh, I have to too. Yeah. All right. Work needs, needs to be a one, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, There's you... other stipulations to that eventually. Yeah. And that twitting my con save. I'm good. Sick. Right. Warcaster advantage. I got a twenty and a two. <laughs> you, Jake, do you want me to do that by default, or do you just want me to? I want you wait. to let me know. Okay. Just uh, just say wild magic. Yeah. All right, Shabby, you're done, right? 
Horton. So you said there's two standing next to each other now? On the, the uh, ones you're next buckets? to Shabby. You're next to Shabby. And Shabby just... He killed de- one. Desacked a guy. Yeah. And there's he just moved 10 feet forward. And so split, there's... Split sacked. He, two pieces thing. of him kept their... Each I didn't... I wasn't sacks. sure in the terminology of that. Uh, sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, Horton, yeah, there's one 10 feet in front of you, and then there's um, one uh, like 30 feet to your, or there's two 30 feet to your, we'll say west. But they were next to each other, right? Those two? Cause... As well, yes. Okay, so I'm going to aim, because if they're five feet apart, I can hit them both. So if they're like Yeah, you can hit them other, both. Then yeah. I want to do that. Yep. Uh, it's going to be another max, my last max damager. Uh, mm-hmm. Spell save 16. Dex. Dex. Oh, actually rolled well on that, but they have a minus one. Oh, check that. It's a saving throw, right? Yeah. Plus three on that. So a 17 and a 21. They both pass, so they both take 20 damage. Okay. So that was my first action. Okay. And then bonus action, I am going to cast uh, Spiritual Weapon. That's not Concentration. You need to, I believe... Oh, wait, can we, will you not do that? Yeah, doesn't your action need to be a cantrip? Uh, Brian, remind me on this. Sure. Um, because it's a maintained spell, he's it not does restricted work. that way. But okay. he is restricted in, the, in that call lightning, if I'm not mistaken, on subsequent turns is a bonus action. Correct. That's no, an action. To oh, do it's an it. action. Yeah. His bonus action is free. He can cast a new spell. Cool. Do it. Sweet. And then I'm going to cast that one at the one that's near us. The one that uh, yeah, Shabby just hit. Yeah. And I'm going to roll to hit that. I can bless that, correct? Well, act- I mean, it's your attacks, right? Oh, it's just, it's like a spell attack. I didn't know if that counted with bless. Yeah, 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 yeah okay. it does. Plus four, fifteen. That does not hit. No, it does not. And what then, does your spiritual weapon look like? Looks like Thor's hammer. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. And then. uh I get my hasted action, and mm-hmm. I'm just gonna attack this dude in the foot because he's Cause you're four massive feet. and I'm four yeah. feet tall. Yeah. <laughs> I believe in in uh, Norse mythology, dwarves could actually be tall, but oh. yeah. All right. So that was a twenty-one to hit. Yes. That hits for. Eight non-magical. Oh wait, do I have that thing now? Uh, if I attack, I can add lightning damage to it, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I can also add a d8. So it was eight non-magical mm-hmm. for thunder. Okay, your non-magical attack goes through as you would expect. Anything else? Uh, that'll be all. All right. It's a dead fire giant's turn. They don't get to go. Lucius? All right. I am going to fly another 30 feet into the air. And a uh, quick question for... You can only get about 50 feet up before you start hitting stalactites. Those cool. are the top ones, right? I believe so. Sir Jazzy, is your effect um, based on your current spot, or is it just permanently cast on me? It's just on you. Cool. So I'm going to go up as high as I can then. And then I am going to cast a first level Chaos Bolt. Mm hmm. At which one? At uh, the one that the lightning came down on. One of the ones the lightning came down on. Okay, I'll that's pick. Cool. Um, and that's a 21 to hit. Nice. That does hit. Plus a d4 if that. I didn't even need to use it. Uh,. And that's going to be seven damage, and it is going to be under six. Sorry, I'm still getting used to this. I'm going to make that poison damage. 
All right. And uh, wild magic, right? Yeah. Nope. Okay. Sir Jazzy. Sir Jazzy. I'm going to fly a little bit closer uh, until I'm 20 feet away. I'm From which? Cast. which? From the wounded one. Okay. That ever, that ever, the current one that we're all wailing on. Okay. Um, I'm going to cast a sacred weapon myself. Uh huh. Spiritual weapon, sorry. Uh, spiritual weapon. And uh, as I do it, I like assume a boxer's posed and then bring my arm back and then when I swing it a spectral gauntlet like a huge one comes out from my uh, arm and swings out only it's not a closed fist it's an open palm and it just slaps him right across the face and it's not it's like an actual hand right it's it's a gauntlet it's not a, yeah okay yeah it's not an elephant's no no it's it's with my gauntlet okay Torm's gauntlet it's it's how he do uh, so this is an attack You'd think since he just did it, <laughs> I would know how it works. Uh, that was a full miss. You had a plus sure. four. Yes. Full miss. Thirteen. And that was nope. doomed. That was doomed before the bless D four. Um, but that's out there now, so that's neat. And I'm also going to to hold the dead him again. So that is a wisdom save. Okay. To be clear, you want your spiritual weapon next to the one that uh, Horton threw? Correct. Okay. A big slap, slap gauntlet, ready to slap him again. Wisdom slap, please. slap, slappity. Thirteen. Fail. Cool. Twenty points of necrotic damage, two tens. Nice. Nice. And I'm done. I'm going to fly back up if I have any movement. That's kind of arbitrary. What did he roll on his wisdom save? 13. 13? Cool. Why? Just wondering. Is Are you one of those players that, like, tracks rolls? No, I was just trying to figure out where his wisdom lies for spells. Oh. For saves. Okay. I can tell you he's a 14 on his wisdom. Ah. This is this is the song I hear every time Jazzy's attacking. <laughs> Turn it off, DMCA. It doesn't matter. They can't. Oh, I guess they can't hear it on the stream. Just kidding. I don't give a even, shit. Even even like so five funny. seconds. <laughs> yeah. They're wow. not gonna come after Venture Ventures. I'm just. It's just a warning. Let man. them come after well, Venture Ventures. It's They're not going about the, It's it's just automatic if. If there's an algorithm, it doesn't. It's not about like someone coming yeah, after. Yeah. Anybody. YouTube Twitch will, is going hard. YouTube will also auto delete that's, uh, the audio. That's the that's the song from Community. I don't know if you recognized it, but it's the song that they play in that that horror episode where they're they're like tuning to the radio station, like just in a horror movie, when there'd be some exposition coming through the radio, like through Damn, the news. Man, I don't remember and then, that. And then they, <laughs> Abed. He, he goes to the radio and it just plays this like smooth jazz song and there's like there's like they're not going to hear the important like news story right when they turn to the radio so, so that's what i think of anytime i hear about jazz or show. anything all right fire giant's turn fire giant is going to pick up some he's going to pick up some tongs and he's going to run up underneath you uh Lucius, thank you. Thank you, Brain, for remembering. Uh, he's going to throw some tongs at you. Massive giant tongs. I really need to get that mage armor off. <laughs> A 28 to hit. Ow. Mage armor wasn't going to help you? Nope. Ooh. Rolled really well. 34 bludgeoning damage. Um, I yeah. fall to the ground. And you lose a death save because you hit the uh, the ground falling damage, right? Or do your wings fl work at unconsciously? Well, it would say. Because I think looking. Brian's boots 
If they run out of juice, you still float slowly. Yeah, I'm looking. One sec. No, I'm pretty sure they don't. Right. Right. I don't remember reading anything about it. I think you fall. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember reading anything that says it does, so... The winged option, fly speed for T-flings. I don't know. I don't see anything that says so. Yeah, I'm assuming I just fall. I'll keep looking just to be confirmed, though. Okay. Uh, since the fire giants are fighting for their freedom... Uh, really? The th <laughs> really? The fire there, he, they literally. Bell said, if you kill one of them, you get your freedom. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> this has got to be some karmic thing uh, based on how often you tell the joke at Brian's character. <laughs> That's why I'm just sitting here smiling. Oh I just I built this character. I mean, you could... building characters is the best thing ever. <laughs> if, you, if you know you how. You get to do it again. <laughs> I'm a d, &D uh, moron. I, I, I'm very it's hard for me to build characters. Um, the third fire giant is going to run up to the limp body of Lucius and is going to take his great sword out. With the great sword, even. No improvised weapons here. And that's fucking with advantage. No, oh, thank you. Well, because you're prone and he's right next to you. Well, the first attack misses, I think. Does a 16 hit? Yeah. Oh. Unless I can shield in my sleep. No. <laughs> Shit. So you lose a death save there. Two. Yeah. <laughs> Two death saves. I just put up your fingers at the same time. <laughs> yep. That's why me and Brian were laughing so hard. We both knew he was dead. <laughs> Um. Yep. It's a critical how, hit. I how have. High were you? Something. You I was fifty, like forty-five feet or something like that in the air. Oh yeah, that's fall damage. <laughs> um. What is? I'm. Have something. Why is it? Do I have something as a feature that's letting me restore health, or am I tripping? It's asking me in D and D Beyond. To Unless do something. You're a half orc. Yeah, no, I don't think I have anything. Okay. Well, that sucks. So, on the first attack, I rolled a one and a five. Uh, but he's got, you know, a Advantage. good bonus to attack. And then on the second attack, I rolled two fives. So There's another 16. Still just hits. And uh, Lucius, we barely knew thee. Uh, if you want to quickly roll up another one, you can another character um i'm guess for the sake of this i will fudge i mean i have my other sorcerer that i played in the one shot that i can just play but mm. it's whatever you want to do it's up to you you yeah. have some time because uh, i've paved the way for you to just just rename your same character so <laughs> they can't make fun of you because i already did it <laughs> or we could just make fun of both of you <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Uh, okay, that was that fire giant's turn. And the fourth fire giant is next to Shabby. It's going to wail on Shabby. You haven't been doing reckless on your attacks, have you? Yeah, I've been doing reckless. Shabby and I are stunned. I told oh. you I was. Uh, I yeah. told you I was doing reckless. Cool. Shabby and I are both stunned anyway. Haste fell. Do, 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 do. Oh, because we're hasted? Yep. Not anymore. <laughs> not, anymore. <laughs> not anymore, you're not. Man, I roll. I roll. And you're also. Great you're great. You're also frozen for, for your next turn. Rolled. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We're stunned. Do, 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 do. Haste went away. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I really wanted to play a wild magic sorcerer really you badly. You still can. I know. You still can. I guess. It's just a new just, character. Just can't be named Lucian. Yeah. Oh, there's a natural 20 on Shabby. 
Let's roll the second Why attack. Why not on me? And uh, second attack. They both hit. The first one is a critical. Where's my... I don't want to roll anymore. Blasphemy. Thirty-seven slashing on the first one, shabby. Got it. And twenty-seven slashing on the second one. Okay, so fifty-four total, or sixty-four total. Yeah, I don't know. Sixty-four total. Yeah. Are you raging? Yeah, yeah. I'm taking half of that. Oh, oh thank God. <laughs> <laughs> That would be a hell of a lot. And Shabby, it is your turn. I can't do anything, right? You're stunned. Horton, you're stunned. Mm -hmm. Dead fire we're, giant. We're okay. no longer stunned, though. Till no the longer stunned. Our, yeah. Till the end of our next turn. So. Uh, Lucius dead. Sir Jazzy. I'm not stunned. No. It's so I catchy. <laughs> so catchy. Going to drop less. Oh. And I am going to cast slow on all of the fire giants. Uh, what save is that? Let me make sure that's what I want to do. Give me one second. <laughs> so many things are happening. Um Nope, changed my mind. I'm gonna pat. I'm gonna cast uh, compulsion on them instead. I'm gonna cast it as a bonus action because it's an enchantment spell, so I can do that. Mm -hmm. um, all three of them need to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay, you can do that bonus action enchantment thing like five times. Four times. Four times. Uh, wisdom save. You said. A wisdom save. That is what I said. Uh, first two fail. And the third one fails. They all fail. I'm going to point to my left, mm -hmm. and they have to use their entire movement to move in that direction on their next turn. Oh, they okay. get to take an action before it moves. I didn't know that. Well, that's a bummer. Anyway, too bad they're going to run in that direction like little puppets. After um, they take an action? After they take an action. Okay. Move them uh, out of my cloud. Swear to Jesus. They shouldn't. <laughs> they should still be in your cloud. One of uh yeah, well, yeah. Okay. Um that's Anything my else? bonus action, and then my uh full action I'm going to I'm just gonna toll the dead again. The one I've been told the dead. The one I've been tolling the dead on. Toll the dead. Keep tolling the dead on. Fuck another fail. Not as good. Nine points of necrotic damage. The only requirement, uh, Gary, of your new character, even if you just reskin the one you were just playing, is it has to have a new name. That's the only, uh, if you still want to play out, sort. Uh, all right. Fire Giant 2's turn. <laughs> nope. This is really, this is really funny it. to me. It's like, <laughs> you have to pick a name. Next up is Fire Giant number two. I don't want to. I think it's for whatever reason. <laughs> no, I know. I'm not. That's not. A, that's not a critique of the DM. I'm just saying. No, I know. Funny, but for whatever reality. reason, in my head, in the head canon, it bothers me that <laughs> that Lucius could die and just come back to life. Yeah. yeah or yeah. something. I don't know. It's he just... was already dead and just came back to life. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Wandered. Even though it's, we're just playing pretend here, it's it's <laughs> yeah too much pretend. Too much pretend. Uh, hey, right. even my characters lasted more than half a session. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I don't even. Well, I guess I lasted half a session. Yeah. It's like, did I even last that long? <laughs> Barely. I I think I lasted you like forty five minutes. Yeah, you got a good burn on Brian earlier in this yeah. session, and then <laughs> it, that karma right there. Yeah. <laughs> Instant. That's that's I think you got your new character's name. It's karma. Could do that. 
Uh, all right, what was I doing? That's what I was doing. Uh, this giant is going to pick up uh, a shovel. He's going to hurl it at Jazzy. Rude. Throwing things. Come fight us like tools just all over this place. There 19. Yep, that hit. Is it a giant sized shovel? Or like, oh, yeah. Look ridiculous. No. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> They're all giant sized. It'd be funny if like one of their tools was like human sized and they would just look. Uh, that's what I was doing. 35 bludgeoning, Jazzy. 35 bludgeoning, that hurts quite a bit. Um, but I maintain my concentration thanks to advantage yet again. Cool. Uh, and he's so then gonna... he runs like a puppet. And he's going to run, and he's going to run uh, into the lava that's on the edge of the room and just stand there because he hits the wall. Yep. They don't run into hazards, but lava's not a hazard. To a fire. How do puppets run? Oh, they kinda... I don't think it is, at least. <laughs> Perfect. I want him to run like a crab, like sidestep. Sure. Yeah. Like he does Zoidberg, that. but down instead of up. I like I like the down, Dave. I like the down. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That is how my compulsion compels creatures. <laughs> is going to pick up a giant-sized broom this time. So rude. <laughs> He's gonna throw it at uh, Horton. I like that they like to keep their little workshop clean. Net 20. Doesn't do anything. There's lava about, but does. Yeah, oh, really yeah. Sure it, so it's just a hit, though, right? Yeah. Nice. Adamantine armor for the win. Uh, yeah. Good thing. 26 bludgeoning damage, Horton. Oh, from this broom, this massive broom. And, uh, let me roll a concentration on call lightning. Uh, no, my call lightning goes away. The clouds go away, dissipate, and that fire giant who threw a a broom goes running to where his friend is into the lava and the fire giant near shabby <laughs> is going to <laughs> they also Horton. feel real stupid when they do it i guess for whatever reason this is stretching the limits of my imagination <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why there's no logical reason hey, it's, why. it's one of my it's one of my strongest spells okay <laughs> i cast compulsion and he rethinks every choice he's made in life and everything he's ever said to his mother nope just runs like an idiot <laughs> feels bad about it uh this guy is gonna great sword horton I thought you said he. Oh, okay. Never mind. It's a different. It's the one near you. I said near Shabby, but he's gonna hit Horton. Got it. Uh, first one is a twenty-eight, and the second one is a twenty. Uh, the twenty court. does not hit. Wow. What? What is your AC? Twenty-one. Oh, your fucking shield breaker bullshit. Yeah, <laughs> it's. Uh, I have a plus one shield. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, nice. Uh, okay, one one great sword as the dwarf hides behind his shield and just takes a <laughs> blow. Uh, but the first one hit, so that's a 26 slashing damage on the great sword. Horton. How much? I'm sorry? 26. Um, I'm looking for a thing real quick to do when he hits me. A reaction with your thunder damage? Yeah. Okay, thunder yeah, it's just a reaction. Back. You get four of those. Yep. It's a deck save. DC text. Okay. Does it affect Jerry, who's next to you? No, it just affects whoever hits me. Okay. Uh, that's who, a natural who, one, so fail. next to him? Shabby. <laughs> I will continue to fuck that up until Shabby dies. 
and I resurrect Jerry if we need to. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even I didn't even think of that when I put a Y at the end of his name. I just it's eleven. As as I, I think that, it would have happened anyways. I think as it soon happened. as I saw that name, that orc name Shab, I was like, oh yeah, Shabby. It's a good name. It's eleven lightning damage. Uh, Shabby. Um, I got a crit again. Nice. Um, so I'm swinging at I'm swinging at the one that just attacked Horton. Yes. Yes. Um, so 41 damage for that. Fuck. And He's very did, injured. And then I did another. Uh, let's see, 23 to hit. Yes. I assume still hits, and that's a 20 damage on that one. Just barely hanging on. Damn it. Anything else? I use my bonus action to push the giant over. No. Nothing okay. else. Horton. Okay. Horton. We've uh, we've been hit pretty hard here. My party's within 60 feet of me, everybody? Yes. I'm right next to you. I'm not. I am going to... Mass cure wounds us. Fifth level spell. You don't have to touch anyone, right? No. Is anybody within sixty feet of me that I Sick. or thirty? Wait. Yeah, sixty feet of me. Okay. Thirty foot radius sphere. That's why I was confusing. Need some radiant. Seven, three, eight. So fifteen, eighteen plus four. So everybody gets twenty-two. Damn. Sick. What level is that? The fifth level spell. My only fifth level spell. Anything else? Um, bonus action. Have my spiritual weapon hit the one that's on me. Okay. Do it. It's a 22 to hit. Indeed. It's five radiant damage. Okay. That is all. That fire giant's dead. Lucius is dead. Jazzy. Um, I'm going to greedily fourth level cure, <laughs> cure wounds myself. Uh -huh. um, I just rolled that, and that was 12, 15. No, that's not math. 17 plus. That's another 21 for me. Cool. And then my bonus action, I will uh, spiritual weapon slapity slap, slap, slap. Nope. My, okay. my slaps. My slaps are not very effective. Alright. Fire giant. I will maintain concentration on compulsion. Uh, that still happens? Like. Okay. All right. um, I think they. Let me see when they trigger a resave. After moving in this way, you can make another wisdom save. So after they move, they can roll again. So they should have rolled last time or no? At the end of their turn last time, yeah. Let's roll for that. Yeah. Wisdom? Wisdom. Uh, not good. Uh, a 10 and a 4. Both fail. They're both still compelled. They can take okay. an action, but that they continue moving to my left into the wall uh they're they still going go <laughs> yeah they're still going to try and throw some lava at you it's going to be a disadvantage that's good first one i rolled a 15 and 14 that's plus 11 yeah, so, yeah. that hits <laughs> Thirty-seven, thirty-seven bludgeoning. Okay. And the next one is going to throw right, some lava. And how's your concentration? Uh, half thirty-seven is eighteen. Eighteen. I got a uh, drops. Okay. Uh, and the second giant throws more lob at you and rolls an eight and a two 
So that's 19 and 13. At disadvantage? Yes, an 8 and a 2. It, is it two different? Oh, shit, you're right. Two attacks yeah, or 13. one attack? 13 is the one. Does that Got hit? it. No. Okay. Uh, okay, Draco is the new one. <laughs> Fair enough. That's all. You, you have met the requirements. <clears throat> Uh, we will meet Draco in a few minutes. All right. They're still going to chill. They can come out of the lava, right? No, they can, yeah. Because the okay. has gone. Because it dropped after the first guy, so he could move too. They're going to go back to that anvil where they were, and that's going to be it. Fire Giant next to Shabby is going to hit Shabby. You've been rolling reckless, right, Shabby? Yep. So it's usually a safe assumption, unless unless I'm playing against I a just, character that just takes huge swings. Yeah, I just want to make sure, because I don't want to just assume advantage. Uh, that's 22 on the first swing. And a 4 and a 2 probably won't do it. Does a 15 hit you? Is it equal? Yeah, that's my AC. Okay, yeah. Uh, both hit you. I don't got those bracers anymore. Yeah. First hit is a 28 slashing damage. This is, I hope you don't go down. Um, a 22 slashing damage on the second one. No, because I was healed. That's basically like what what uh, Horton healed me. Excellent. Uh, so it's 50 total, so 25. Sure. Yeah. And it's your turn, Shabby. Got a very injured fire giant who just injured you. Right yeah, now. unfortunately, I pre-rolled and I took, I did two misses, so. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Horton. <clears throat> Horton. Oh, boy. Horton. I am going to cast. Are those other two still near each other? Yes. Another fourth level call lightning. Cool. Another one. And then uh, it's a 16 deck save from both of them. <sighs> roll the 16 and a 20. It's plus 3, 19, and 23. They both pass, but I actually have to roll this damage. Twenty is what I rolled, so that it's ten damage. Okay. 18. And then uh, spiritual weapon, bonus action, attack the one in front of us for a yep. natural twenty. Nice. Kill it. D eight. Oh, remember. Spiritual weapon. Yeah. Rolled an eight. That's sixteen plus four. How does 20. your spiritual weapon kill it? Um, just like thwacks him on the back of the head. Like it just sneaks okay. up Conk. behind him. It's just like, uh. yep, he goes go down. Sleep. Yeah, go to sleep. Two down, two to go. Nice work. All right. Dead, dead, jazzy. I uh, am going to take my cue from my buddy, and I'm going to fly close to my dudes and cast my fifth level mass cure wounds. Okay. Just we still need it, and that's seventeen points for the three of us. Nice. As my action, and then my bonus action will be the uh, my spiritual weapon. I'll try. You, how far can you move it? Because there's no feet. one, there's no one uh, close to it. You won't be able to get oh, really? to the giants. Yeah. That one's oh, because that one's gone. Just killed by the other spiritual weapon. Right, 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 right. So then it will just fly closer. Okay. And that is what I will do. Uh, all right. Do 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 do. 
Uh, two fire giants remaining are going to run towards Horton and Shabby. And the first one is going to use two of its great sword attacks on Horton. A 14 doesn't hit. Does a 26 hit yes. on your insanely well optimized character 66 26 slashing on you Horton 26 and I've regained I went so I'm going to use my reaction to cool. hit him with my thunder thingy 16 DC decks save natural one So I have eight thunder damage. Okay. And the next fire giant's going after Shabby. That's 27. And 29. Okay. First great sword attack does 29 slashing shabby and the second one does 31 slashing you're muted 60 total sure yeah uh, I'm looking pretty bad you've taken so much damage yeah I mean I've taken it's hit hard taken yeah, plus it's like my. We're trying my, to keep them up. My hit points plus uh, plus twenty, so it's a lot for doubling all that. So yeah, yeah. I've taken like two hundred points of damage. Jesus <laughs> Christ! And he's still up. Yeah, and yeah. One. I mean, not quite two hundred, but I've taken. Yeah, actually, almost yeah, about two hundred. Probably. Yeah. yeah, probably. yeah. And he's been doing reckless every time too. So yeah. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter. They're gonna hit me if they want to hit me. I'm... Oh yeah, because your AC so low. Uh, yeah. That guy's dead. Back to you, Shabby. All right, I miss on the first one, I believe, because I rolled like a seventeen. It's eighteen to hit these guys. Yes, it is. And then the second one, I hit. I got a rolled an eighteen. <laughs> Do you want to hit the one that hit Horton or you? Horton. Okay. Here's a who. And. Uh... And bad damage. Uh, let's see. So, 19 damage. Okay. Anything else? Oh, shit. I uh, just m take my movement and try to get in between the giant and Horton. Okay. I passed my con save. I just rolled it. I forgot. Okay. Cool. Okay. Horton. Um, I can hit them both with my call lightning again, so I will do that because it's still up as my action. Deck saves, right? Yes, 16 DC. Uh, a 15 and another natural one. So they both fail. I think I'm so up to 9 20, natural ones. 21 damage to both of them. And it's then a uh, spiritual weapon uh, bonus action. Move it. Oh, yeah. Wait, the guy hit yeah, me. It's close. It's, yeah, it's close. You can hit him. You can hit him. Okay. It's a, I rolled a 19. So let's Do you want to hit the one that hit you or the one that hit Shabby? The one that hit me. Because he's attacking okay. that one, too. That's 10 damage radiant to that guy. Nice. That will he, be the end of my turn. He's bloodied. Jazzy. Cool. I'm going to do something similar that I'm looking that I did before. Create some uh, energy between my gauntlets and then smack it on my trunk and blast it this time at the fire giant. So as I cast slow on the two of them, I need a wisdom saving throw. Huh. 
Fuck. Like wisdom? Yes, wisdom. Uh, I rolled a five and an eight, so that's a ten and a seven. They both fail. They both fail, so they are currently slowed. Um, I wish I had done this sooner, because I forgot several aspects of the spell. They can take a minus two to AC mm -hmm. and to their dexterity saving throws. Mm -hmm. Important. Um, <laughs> didn't know that part. Um, and they can only use one attack instead of multi-attack. Okay. And they don't, they're not spellcasters, so that doesn't matter. Sounds um, good. So that is my action, the bonus action. Uh, can I uh, spiritually slap them? Yes. Which one? The bloodied one. The one that, okay. that is looking, looking harder. Finally, 19, uh, 20, mod 20. Yeah. Uh, for 10 points of damage. Sweet. All right. Slapped! So as the spell takes effect, you guys see these fire giant. They're they're radiating fire off their literal fire off their beard, eyebrows, and hair, and all of it, their movement and the fire coming off of them starts looks like it's just in slow motion, and uh, they're still gonna attack. They can still do that. They're gonna. The bloodied one's gonna swing at Horton. The first fire giant's gonna swing at Horton. They don't have penalty. Oh fuck! Another terrible roll. They don't have penalties to attack, right? No penalty. Just they only get the one attack. Yeah. <clears throat> Does a sixteen hit Horton? No, it doesn't. Uh, next fire giant's gonna swing at old Shabby. Almost said Jerry. Twenty one. Hopefully this isn't the end of Shabby. Thirty-one slashing damage. That's it, Shabby. Shabby goes down, but then he pops back up with one one hit point. <laughs> a real, a real less endurance. Nice. Yeah. Same as you know. Yeah. He should not be named. Uh, and it's your turn, Shabby. Okay, cool. You um, lost raging when you went down. Okay, I rage again. Yeah. And uh, I uh, swing at the one that just swung at me. Yes, uh, do it. For 21, 20 yes. damage. Yeah. And then swing again for a 22 to hit. 23, yes. 23 damage. Sweet. That's a good round of damage. That one's both, still up? They're both bloodied, yeah. Oh, they had a large bloodied means like half hit points. If they have a large pool of hit points, it could still be right, right. But I mean, it's bloodied. I just did 43. Mm -hmm. That's all. Anything else? Just kill him. Horton. I thought you guys were going to just walk through this encounter, uh, especially when it first started. Horton, you're muted. Yep. Yeah. Uh, can I get two deck saving throws for the call lightning? Yep. And that's disadvantage? Jez? Uh, it was minus something, Jez. What's the deck save, Jez? Sorry. Uh, minus two to a deck save. Okay. So it's not disadvantage. Not disadvantage. Just a minus okay. two. One fails and one succeeds. Okay. What's your DC again? 17 is better than your DC, right? Yeah, just barely. Oh, these are good rules. That's 19. 29 damage. To the one that failed, and then uh, 14 to the... Yeah. Do, 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 do. Okay, Jazzy. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What else do you want to do? The uh, spiritual weapon? Spiritual weapon. Uh, misses. Go ahead. Jazzy. Jazzy, so I'm going to keep up my slow. Uh, my action, I'm going to guiding bolt mm -hmm. the bloodied one. Okay. They're both bloodied now, but the, I assume you mean the one that's more damaged. Yeah, the one that, that we've been wailing on. Uh, that is an 18 to hit, which if yes, it does. Dropped AC, it would. 
I think it would anyway. Mm -hmm. That is 46 radiant. Fourteen points of radiant damage from that. Cool. And then I'll slapity slap slap again. There. It's a twelve to hit. Okay. Anything else? <laughs> I will fly away. Right. Fifty feet in the air. Cause that's the highest you can get. Yep. All right. Fire giant, the bloodied one is going to try and thwack Shabby. Still slowed. You've still been doing reckless, right? Yep. That was a journey. Uh, yeah, that's uh, 23. Another 31 slashing damage, Shabby. So yeah, he's down. Okay. Uh, next fire giant is going to swing at Horton. Uh, Reroll that because I did that. 18 does not hit, right? Uh, Shabby, make a death saving throw. Rolled an 18. What do I add to that? You're good. It's it's uh, one one through nine. I believe is a fail and 10 through 20 is good save. Oh, okay. What happens though? I don't, I don't think I've ever you, made death rolls before. You probably have. Uh, when you take your character to zero, there should be like a, a little new win tiny window that pops up that has uh death saving throws on it. Yeah. It has six dots. You just, yeah. And you want to mark one that says success. If it says success. Got it. Got it. If you had three fails, you're dead. Got yeah. it. It would look like me on the ground. Not Which still moving. could happen now that these fire giants see him on the ground bleeding out. Uh, all right. Horton. <laughs> uh, two deck saving throws, please. With a minus two. Uh, a two and a 17. 17 passes. So it's 18 to the one that failed, 9 to the other. And then I am going to look at the barbarian at my feet and go, God damn it, I need you. <laughs> no third. emotional attachment since this is the first time you guys have seen each other. God damn yeah, it. Yeah, no, but he's hitting these things really hard and they're yeah, trying to kill yeah. me. I, I read you. I read you. <laughs> I'm doing strategic. it at third level. So it's uh. So how do I do this with the death save? Is just come out of that mode yeah. and. Yep. It's not going to be a lot of healing, but you'll make another attack off. Uh, theoretically, is it the top of the round soon? <laughs> ten, ten health you get. So... You have ten health, but you're prone. Yeah. Hmm. And that is all. Something smells off, Brian. Are you thinking something smells off rules wise or no? No, I just realized something great for me. That's all. Okay. Well, good because it's your turn. Yeah. And because Shabby was down, my guiding bolt light is still on that guy. That means mm -hmm. I'm going to guiding bolt him again at third level with advantage. Nice. With the hurt, the most hurt one, right? Yeah. Yeah. What does that have to do with me? <laughs> um, the, when I Guiding Bolt, when that hits that spell, what it does is the next attack on that creature gets advantage. Usually, it wouldn't get all the way back to me, so I wouldn't get that advantage. It would usually probably fall to you as, mm. as a melee character. Got it, got but it. you were down on the ground, so I get to use it. <laughs> <laughs> Which is 
fun for me. Um, that's a hit. That's a 26 to hit. Yes. Um, and at third level, that's going to do 66. That song is firmly in my skull. You're welcome. Entrenched. 25 points of radiant damage, and he you're, continues to glow. It's one of the community best jokes. Your, your guiding bolt shoots towards the fire giant, hits him in the forehead, and bores a radiant hole in it, and he falls dead. Oh, Thank I love God. That. Then I'm going to slap the other one. <laughs> or try to, at least. Let's find out if that can do it this time. And it did. That's another 18 plus 8. Another 26. Okay. 24. I can't add. Um, that's D8. Three, seven points of damage. Okay. I'm okay. The final fire giant's turn. Oh, I'm going to fly a little farther away. <laughs> horizontally, uh, you, you, though. No. Oh, horizontally? Okay. <laughs> Uh, most of you would like to throw something at you. He's got two other characters in front of him. Yeah, I didn't want to depend on that. <laughs> I've been hit by enough, many thrown enough. things in this fight. They hurt Let's a lot. If he hits Jerry or Horton, looks like it's going to be Horton. Who? His... Yeah, who's Jerry? Whatever his fucking name is. <laughs> uh, 19 doesn't hit Horton, right? No. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Shabby, it's your turn. Uh, so, yeah, he. Uh, I'm assuming the other the other guy's pretty, he's right next to me, right? He just sort of took a swing at me? There's one took, left. He took a swing at Horton. Yeah, Horton. you can hit him. Uh, You're not uh, raging. So I'm, he's kind of groggy. He's, he's, no, I. I uh, you re rage? I, I, I already. Re raged. So maybe this is my went third down rage. again, didn't you? Yeah, this is my third rage. Yeah, yeah. So he takes a very sluggish swing, misses with that one. His next swing is a 23 to hit, and he yeah. gets uh, keep in mind their AC is dropped, Dave. It dropped by two. What was your first attack? I forget. I just, I just remember it wasn't a wasn't was it a 16? Eight. It wasn't an 18. Nah, I think it was like a 15 or below. Okay. All right. Um, Second one so, hits. Ooh, yeah, 27 damage. Nice. Anything else? Nope. 40. Uh, deck save, please. That's a two. Man, my rolls are shit. Twenty-two. Holy shit. Uh, 31. Thunder, dude. thunder or lightning? Thunder. I can choose. Oh, okay. Well, your your th the thunderous clap hits him, and his brain explodes out of his ears, and he falls dead. And Bell starts clapping, and floats his chair down, uh, and. Uh, he's going to deactivate your boots and allow you to float slowly down to the ground, Jazzy. I was going to float anyway, but sure. That's uh, a nice float. Yeah, he... As many arch devils are, they, they don't like anyone above them. Uh, literally. <laughs> so, Fair enough. Uh, he... He says to you guys, well, one of them earned their freedom, but it doesn't look like they'll be able to collect. <laughs> and uh, some really ripped imps fly out from the staircase uh, at the back of the room and drag Lucius's body over to the lava and throw it in and uh lava does its work slower than usual did you have fire resistance i did 
Okay. Well, yeah, it's slower, it's slower than usual. Uh, he says <laughs> so to you guys. Uh, says to you guys. Well, three of you proved your worth, and uh, I think you'll need another group member. Three isn't quite enough on a, the plains of Avernus. And I have someone who has already proved their mettle. And before you, materializes. Draco. The slightly lighter red. <laughs> I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna take liberties with the way you're... Slightly, just barely... If any of you have any experience with art in your character's background, color palettes, you can tell it's a slightly lighter red tiefling. And uh, Draco, uh, I need you to sign this contract if ah. you want the possibility of living. Why, of course. I And I say it in Inferno. Infernal. Well, I used to work for you in the past, so why not again? And I signed you fucked it up last time, but uh, gladly. Oh no, I know. I know. I realized that right after I said it earlier. I was like, "Wait, that completely contradicted my backstory." It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> um, I'm redeeming uh, myself. And and so you sign it, and the contract evaporates, and he he starts talking out loud, and that gets dimmed by the telepathic speech in all of your heads, and he says. I need you to return nine adamantine rods. And I don't know where they are, but I have someone who might. Are any of you familiar with demons of any kind? You want me to roll? Uh, not my realm. If you want, would like to roll a arcana or history check you I'm can. A, I'm a cleric. I might have learned a thing or two. Or religion, I, sure. I definitely yeah. would, so I'll roll. Yeah, okay. History going on. Nope. 18 well, religion? It's actually better than I thought. Okay. Uh, uh, you said religion or history, right? Or arcana. Uh, it'd just be uh, 14. Straight 14. Okay. Uh, Horton, you just know that it's a demon that collects knowledge. That's oh. their main goal. And uh, you seem to remember that they're covered in disgusting pustules. Uh, and Bell says, so there's a Sibriex that I believe may have the information. And I have a confidant that can lead you to the Sibriex. And... I'll allow you to take a barge up the river Styx to this location if you like. The board barge is already just outside. Is there a heavily guarded uh, ship or something that we could try to get on instead? Yeah, that sounds much more appealing. <laughs> a barge is a ship. <laughs> it's a sort of ship. Yeah, that sounds oh, great. Oh, wow. I said that out loud. Sorry. <laughs> uh, it's very gracious of you, Master. Thank you. That's more like it. And the imp's name is Balacros. And he snaps, and Balacros, who's previously invisible, appears before your eyes. And Bell says, are all of you going to be able to do this for me? This is, this is a small task, another in a series of tests to prove your worth. Nine adamantine rods. Can seems to be a moot question. Uh, we signed, didn't we? So you signed. You're going to do obligated. it, but uh, I want some sort of confidence in all of you. Draco, how are you feeling? 
Oh, we got this. Nice. It would help me to understand what these nine rods are for so that we can select the right rods for you, Master. Does Shabby actually believe this? I'm asking you this uh, to... to yeah, yeah. Cause I'm gonna, okay, so may roll a persuasion check. What? A persuasion? To, yeah. I'm not trying to, like... If he doesn't want to tell me, I don't care. Like, I'm just asking. Okay. If you don't want to roll, you don't have to. Um, he says, I'm, just, I'm not trying to persuade him to tell me something. I'm just... Uh, I, it's not like I'll, a aggressive okay, persuasion. It. Yeah, it's yeah. A, yeah, I don't. I don't think I'm gonna make it. <laughs> I'm not a very per your charisma's person. an eight. Yeah. Yeah, it's a two. Or not, it's a four. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> uh, Bell says to you, telepathically. I don't think you need to know that. I don't think any of you need to know that. They're unique adamantine rods that the Sibriax, if it knows, will know what it is. That's all they do. They collect knowledge. So, if there's anything else, I will have Balakros lead you to the docks where the barge is, and the barge captain will take you down the river Styx, and you will retrieve your nine, my nine adamantine rods. Uh, you three look terrible. Let me fix that. And, uh, he heals you guys back up. Is that the equivalent of a long rest or? No, he just healed you to full. Cool. All right. Oh, thank you, sir. Okay. You can leave now. Balacros, my trunk. And, yep. Uh... Balacros leads you up the stairs in the back where the imps originally came from that dragged Lucius's body into the lava. Uh, and you climb these stairs that seemingly go on for a good ten minutes, uh, and you come out. Looking back, you see a massive volcano spewing soot and ash and you are led down an iron road periodically you pass companies of bone devils and other sorts of devils and it leads you to the river sticks dock where you see a barge and on that barge are 12 Maragons, which the characters might not know, but you guys remember from last session some of the devils that tried to kill you. Uh, so 12 Maragons on oars, and there's a bone devil who greets you when you board, introduces himself as Cringjack. I'm Cringjack. I'll be your captain to the River Styx. Uh, as Balacros has informed me, you'll need travel directly from instruction directly from Bell, and I'll be happy to do that. Please step on board, and you guys begin your travel, and we'll pick it up next week when you guys are on the River Styx. And down the river, you can see a familiar sight to you players, not your characters, the Stygian docks you'll have to cross. So. <laughs> you have to go under them. You, you, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool. almost like as if we had an itinerary before. We're right where we mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. left off on that itinerary now. Crazy Indeed. how that happens. Indeed. Except now we have a new mo new daddy. Yes. <laughs> Cool. Oh, thanks, guys. Elephant finds thanks, Jake. Well. Yeah, good thank times. You. That was that I'm was glad fun. Not all of you died this time. Yeah, that was. I super appreciate you slaughtering the sorcerer. Couple, couple rolls away from not making it. <laughs> Jake, I mean, Gary. If I you're, just. Did you? How did you feel about that? 
I feel like I was like a sorcerer getting wine bottles thrown at me. I mean, yeah. Like our one, like our one shot where you threw wine bottles at me when I was flying. <laughs> Well, just think about it this way. It's not like you wrote seven pages of backstory and then your character died in session one. This is true. I do. That's like... You rolled up a character I, an hour ago and it died. That's kind of karma. Well, to be fair, I, I, I built the character like two weeks ago. I just never finished. Oh, no, that's true. <laughs> um, I just... Yeah. I tried to low-key... Uh, like, influence you, Brian, not to write as much, being that we're in hell, but, you know... At some point, I can't. That that was my minimum. That took me like ten minutes. Okay. Well, then my that, backstory. That's that fine. that was me not trying very hard okay. to write a backstory. Good. Good. <laughs> uh, cool guys. Uh, new group. You guys are gonna have to earn a new group name or pick a new group name. Once you get to know each other, and we'll we'll have some get to knowing each other scenes as you travel up the river sticks. The romantic river sticks full of mm -hmm. lemures and souls and stuff like that. Cool. Anything you guys want to plug? Gift shops. Just wear a mask. Yeah, please wear a mask. Please. Don't leave your house. Even better. Yeah, wear that. If you don't leave your house, you don't have to wear a mask. <laughs> don't wear a mask all you want in your house. I had a group of friends uh invite me to like play cards we we high school friends and i thought they meant like virtually and then today i found out they meant in person and one of my friends in this group is a cardiac surgeon and uh in my message i was just kind of like no flabbergasted <laughs> that i i assumed it was virtually and then once i found out, i was like no no i'm not what and no <laughs> As of today, card rooms are now banned in the state of California. Well, we for, just for, for coronavirus, again. yeah. Bunch playing of stuff at his mansion, today. but uh, um, yeah, it was just a weird experience. Anyways, wear a mask. Uh, I have the second season of the Star Wars RPG based on the Fate system uh, has started last Friday, and we'll have our second episode this Friday where I play a chiss gunslinger and uh smuggler named turk bango and you can find that <laughs> you can find Star that Wars name. on roll for change twitch.tv slash roll for change where we raise money for good causes like the aclu uh yeah cool thanks everybody for watching or listening We'll see you next time, next Monday, 7 p.m. Pacific. Be good to others and be good to yourself. See ya. Toodaloo.